Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, what we are going to do, now we have a, a formulation of the RAP problem as a linear programming problem. So what we are going to do now is to use this formulation and implement it using the Gurobi Python API. So uh, the first thing that uh, in, in a code that you will write to, to, to implement this LP problem uh, will be to call uh, the Gurobi uh, library. And this is what the, this line of code is doing. You are calling the Gurobi uh, Python callable library. And then you need to define your data. In this particular uh, RAP problem, the data was very simple. So um, uh, in, in the RAP problem, we have two sources of data. One was uh, data related to the resources and the other one related to jobs and combination of both. Uh, so for the resources, we can use a list and we, uh, we, 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 we are defining a list R where we define each of the resources that we have. So Carlos, Joe and Monica. And another list will be uh, for jobs. And we call this list J. And we have the tester job, the Java developer job, and the architect job. And the other source of data was related to the matching scores. And in, 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 in the Gurobi Python a, a, a API, we have defined a special function that we call it uh, multidic. And the multidic function allows you to initialize more of one dictionary in, in a single statement. So in this uh, multidic function that we have here, we have defined the combinations of the resources and jobs as the key of the dictionary, and also the matching score uh, value for each of the each combinations. So for example, for Carlos and Tester, uh, uh, the matching score of Carlos will be 53. For uh, Joe as a tester will be 80, and so on as, and so forth. So we are using this multi-dig uh, special function of, of, of Gurobi to define the indices and, and the keys of the dictionary and the associate uh, matching score of, of each of these combinations. So uh, next, what we are going to do is to declare the resource assignment problem. So for, to do that, we have this uh, instruction uh, where we are defining a model uh, object M that will capture everything that is related to the linear programming formulation. And as you remember, uh, when we formulate the, the RAP problem, essentially we have four components. We have the data, we have the decision variables, we have the constraints, and we have two types of constraints, one for jobs and one for resources, and the fourth component was the objective function. So uh, uh, in, in, with, with this function, we are defining the, the model object N that will contain all these uh, the, the, the elements of the mathematical optimization model. And we, the name of, 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 of this model will be RAP. So the first thing that uh, we need to, to do when we define a, a, a linear programming model is to define the, the variables. And for that purpose, we have a method uh, for the uh, object M that is called the addVars method. And the add bad methods will be defined over the combinations um, in the multidic uh, function. So basically, we will have the same keys. So the matching scores and the variables will have the same keys to, 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 to define them. And uh, the name of, of, of the variable uh, will be assigned. And x will be the, the uh, object that will capture all the decision variables uh, in, in this LP formulation. Now, let's, uh, let's see what happened with the constraints. For the constraints, 
um, we can use a, a method called the add constraints method. And that method uh, is a method uh, of the model M that we just have defined. And all the constraints, all the job constraints will be captured in this object that we call jobs. And to define this constraint, we will use the xsum method of Python to define the constraints. So the xsum method uh, is defined as, uh, uh, as follows. For each index in the list of jobs J, we are going to define the summation of all the resources that can be assigned to job J. So in, in this exam, we are capturing uh, the left-hand side of this constraint. So for each job J, which can be tester, Java, or architect, that's what we are saying here. So for each job J, assume it's a tester, we are going to take the summation of the resources. That's why we have this asterisk. Uh, and job is the second index, and resources is the first index. So see that we are taking the summation of each of the resources that we have in our list. And uh, the constraints are defined as an equality constraints, and is equal to 1. And this is expressed here by this double uh, equality uh, sign that we have here. So with this instruction, we are capturing all these constraints that we have in the, for the job, or, or, or the job constraints of, 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 of the model. And the name of these constraints is going to be job. So each constraint will be job and will be defined for each of the jobs that we have in the list of jobs. So as you might guess, uh, the resource constraints are, are going to be built in a similar way. So we are going to use the add constraint uh, method defined over the object uh, of the model object M. And again, we are going to use the sum method, the exon method, to define the summations that we have in each constraint. So for example, for each uh, element in the um, uh, list R, we are going to define a constraint that runs all, all over the jobs uh, that can be assigned to that constraint. So for the resource Carlos, uh, and remember resources are the first in the in index of, of, of the variables, so it will be a constant for each constraint. So X11 will be assigning Carlos to a tester job or Carlos to a job developer job, or Carlos to a architect job. And this summation is defined by this x uh, sum uh, method. Um, and, and this is done for each of the resources. And since it is possible that we don't assign all the resources, that's why we have a less or equal uh, uh, constraint here. Uh, inequality, I should say, should be less or equal to 1, meaning that it is possible that Carlos might not be assigned or any of the resources might. It is possible that we don't assign it. Um, but all of these equations here are captured by this uh, uh, add constraint method. So now let's define the objective function. For the objective function, we use a method uh, of the um, Gurobi Python API that is called set objective. So this method is defining the equation that defines the, the objective function. In this particular case, we are using the xproth uh, method of Python defined of over each matching score. So essentially, the xproth method, what it's doing is taking the table of uh, matching scores and the table of decision variables and is taking the product of each matching score with the associated variable and taking the summation of all of them. And this is expressed as, so the xprodms is really defining um, the objective function that, 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 we, that we have here. For, for each of the jobs and each of the resources. And the second argument, the grb.maximize, uh, basically is telling Gurobi sense of optimization is uh, to maximize the objective function. 
the, the, you might be minimizing an objective function, but in this particular case, we, we want to maximize the total matching score. And then in, in, in Gurovi, we also have another function that we, is the right function. And um, this function will write a file that in this particular case will be the wrap.lp file that will write the model that Gurovi has in memory based on the data that you have given to Gurovi and the way that you, you have defined the constraints and the objective function. So this is the file that uh, uh, Gurovi will produce uh, with, the uh, with, with the wrap model. So see, uh, the objective function is to maximize and the first term in, in, in the objective function will be 53, which is the matching score of Carlos and Tester. And assign is the decision variable that it will be equal to one if we assign Carlos to a tester. The second term will be 27, which is the matching score of Carlos uh, for the developer uh, job. And uh, the assign is a zero one variable if we assign Carlos to the developer job. So if you see, we have properly captured all the terms in the objective function uh, for this particular problem. And then what are the constraints? We have two types of constraints. One constraint we call the job and another constraint we call it resource. So the job constraints for tester uh, uh, is going to be defined as follow. And, and this is what Gurovi now has in memory after uh, we have defined all the variables and constraints. So we will have the uh, assigned variable of assigning Carlos to tester or assigning Joe to the tester job or assigning Monica to the tester job. And this is going to be equal to one, meaning that we need to choose one resource uh, to be assigned for this job. Similarly, for the Java developer job and the architect job. So you can see all the possible combination of assigning a resource for each of the jobs in each of the equation. Now, the resource constraints are related to the resources. So for each resource, we will have a constraint. So um, the first uh, resource constraints will be for Carlos. And, and then we have the assigned uh, variables that will say either Carlos is assigned as a, as a tester job or Carlos is assigned to a Java developer job or Carlos is assigned to an architect job. And the constraint is less than equal to one, meaning that it is possible that we might not assign Carlos to this particular job. And for the other resources, uh, is similar. So you can see that Gurovi has properly captured the model, the, the linear programming formulation that we have defined for the RAP problem uh, that we have uh, at hand. So then uh, Gurovi has a, a function uh, called optimize uh, and, and, and this uh, function uh, is defined uh, uh, at the model object M. Uh, so essentially this, this function will call the Gurovi library and solve the LP problem that we just defined. Uh, and, and this object M contains all the constraints and all the um, decision variables and the objective function that uh, we just have defined. So it will solve the problem. And if you see in this uh, left-hand side, you see the results that Gurobi gives. So Gurobi is saying, assign Carlos to a tester job, assign Joe to the architect job, and assign Monica to the Java developer job. And the total matching score is 193. And so uh, the binary variable is equal to one when we assign uh, the resource to, to, to a job. And to validate that we have the proper answer, we can go to the enumeration method that um, it was simple enough for this particular problem. And we, we can see that Gurovi was able to reproduce the optimal solution that we got from the complete enumeration approach. And as we show, this uh, complete enumeration approach won't scale. So if we have 100 jobs, uh, the complete enumeration uh, approach will fail completely, whereas, as you will see later on, uh, Gurovi will take fraction of a second to solve that 100 problems. So 
Uh, at this point, we have validated uh, and we have implemented uh, the linear programming formulation of the RAP problem using the Gurovi Python API. And next, what we are going to do is to give you a demo. Uh, for this demo, we are going to use a Jupyter Notebook where you will see the implementation of, 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 of the LP formulation uh, using the Gurovi Python API and we are going to, to, to do some what-if scenarios in such a way that it's, it's more uh, live uh, version. So, thank you very much for your attention and uh, see you at the next uh, video. Thank you very much.